I sat through a bunch of stuff on the uh, the witch trials in the 1600s, and they fucking took people that were uh, monks, that were pastors, that were clergymen, that were vicars, and they convicted them of witchcraft and killed them. <laughs> like it doesn't matter. This you're not dealing with rational people. You're dealing with maniacs. <laughs> Right, revolutionary Absolutely. maniacs. Keep that in mind too, because that's the other thing I, I didn't really realize until today is like the Puritans were not like a bunch of uh, stuffy church ladies. They were revolutionaries. There's a reason they left the country they were in. Right, <laughs> right. But I, again, like I also England and the Netherlands, they didn't want these fucking people anymore. Well, okay, but fair enough. But I think that there's also an aspect of the of the puritans that is maybe they're getting a bad rap but i think i think the reason we use puritans is because there's a image of of an idea of someone who's puritanical someone who's incredibly orthodox doctrinaire intolerant and potentially yeah but that's violent wrong. and vengeful that's against that's the wrong, yeah. i thought yeah. that that's how it went too but that's wrong like they actually their doctrine was revolutionary they were trying to puritan meant purify the church of catholicism like these were fucking revolutionaries they're oh, their I'm not, doctrine is not I'm orthodox not, at all no no, no i'm not yeah, doubting I'm, I'm not doubting that well you know i'm not orthodox in the sense of an orthodoxy not like orthodox church you know what i mean like uh, you are a doctrinaire, I guess it'd be a better, a better, because like Marxists are revolutionaries, but they're also incredibly doctrinaire. If you, if you get right, right. Yeah. It's the same kind of complex. Yeah. It's the same yeah. kind of complex because they're right. like trying to get down to like this very strict, literal interpretation of everything, which in the context of the time is uh, unusual. Or, or the, the, the issue is that they're, they're looking at a, a, a rigid belief system that divides people. And, and look again, I don't want to actually necessarily besmirch the historical Puritans because they did a lot of things to recommend them. But I think the understanding of Puritanism as this kind of doctrinaire intolerant and, uh, and particularly witch hunting, it's, it's like the particular thing about it is that it's, it's a witch hunting. It's, it's looking for heretics. It's, it's out there looking for villains to slay, looking for bad people. Right. So, 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 yeah, these parallels were interesting. Like you, you realize the the biggest witch finder of that era, uh, Hopkins. You didn't really find witches. Like instead, the communities just came forward mm. and said, "Hey, I don't like this person. They're a witch. You should prosecute them." Just like they do crowdsourcing today with like Antifa type operations. Right. Exactly. That that's the other thing is that that that's another phenomenon of of this kind of thing is that like the people themselves. Uh, are often browbeaten to the point, at least they're not, it's certainly never going to be the broad mass of people, but there's always going to be those that will rise up from amongst the people that want to be, have notoriety, want to be known as a good person. And they'll, they'll start making it their mission to out heretics. And the, the interesting thing is also, um, I was reading this article, actually an old article, uh, Mitch Hoob who linked it to me, the social matter article where they talked about how typically the reaction of a, of a normal person to attacks from these kinds of people is to start to, and this is sort of where the cuck things come from is, is you want to negotiate. You're like, okay, well, these people can't be this unreasonable. Like, let me, let me, (laughs) you know, let me explain myself. I got some news for you. (laughs) I know, I know, I know, I know. That's the thing. We've got experience. So it's sort of like, all right, well, allow me, allow me to explain myself. Let me kind of try and get to the heart of this or let's like talk it out or, here is sure i'll say i was wrong here and and this and that and then but but when you negotiate you're signaling a concession and these people see concessions as a signal to rather than to typically in, yeah they see it as a signal to redouble their efforts whereas in a in another kind of negotiation whether it be in business or friends that have pissed each other off you know like if you got if you had a fight with your friend and you realize I want to be friends with this guy again. So sure. I'll eat my, I'll swallow my pride. And then the guy's like, you know what? You're right. And he swallows his pride. And then you're buddies again. Cause it's more valuable to be friends going forward. Business, business relationships. You have negotiating position. So typically when you make a concession, the expectation is the other side also makes a concession back. And then you come to some kind of mutually agreeable thing, right? That's, typically how this works in these kinds of interactions making a concession just means you get further attacked you can because you've a concession with an in group because you valid that's true but you also when, when you have a witch hunting scenario you're validating 
you're validating the people that are hunting you. You're saying, okay, on some level, your morality is correct. And if that's, if once they hear that, once they get another signal boosting that, then they're just going to redouble their attacks. Whereas if you say, no, fuck you, you're a bunch of fucking evil scumbags and you're persecuting me for no reason, you assholes, that's going to actually put them on the back foot more than be like, okay, okay, let's talk it out, you know? Yeah, you got to I mean, take one look at these Puritans and you know you're not dealing with a rational person. They they wear belts on their hats. <laughs> like that's a dead <laughs> giveaway right there. That some shit's about to retarded. Yeah, some shit's about to Literally go down. Like, like, <laughs> yo, this guy's got a belt on his hat and he's calling me out. What the fuck do I do? They also, <laughs> they also eat turkey. Yeah. Like, bro, why, why even bother eating turkey? Like, eat chicken. There's much finer poultries than turkey. Yeah, for real. I, I always thought it was yeah, funny. The whole buckles everywhere thing was to prevent. It was a it was a radical defensive measure against accidental nudity. <laughs> Are you sure about that? That feels like yeah. Uh, so, so you could right. get their clothes off. Are, I, 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 I don't know. I've been able to work with buckles before, so I, I don't know. I mean, I can unbuckle some shit. Like you, you would have been the fucking biggest PUA player, in bro. I know how to, bro. That's a nice buckle, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Pulling the Fonzie and just snapping your fingers, and it falls off. <laughs> Who was? I would have been. I would have been gaming the shit out of the 16th century broads. <laughs> and then if, if you get caught, you just be like, "That's a witch." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was the other thing. It's like people talk about like Puritans as if they had all of the like, the strict sexual stuff, but they really were not that strict on the sex stuff. In fact, not within I a think, marriage. I think they they counter signaled uh, yeah, the, the get Catholic wild. focus on virginity. Like that to them was like, well, these Catholics are retarded. That's stupid. <laughs> they, wanted you, they wanted you to get married young and start making babies immediately. Yeah, look, I'm not going to comment on on that because I just don't even know very much about it historically, other than what I, I mean, other than what I learned in sort of grade yeah, school. But I, I didn't know that. either. And then I sat you, there. You've been looking day. into it. Yeah, and I was like, wow. Like, I, I feel like everybody has a misconception about these people. Like, we we look through this ahistorical lens at the Puritans and the witch hunting, and like the phenomena is far different than what anyone understood. But I'm I'm wondering, like, maybe this is just thought patrolling. Like, maybe these bitches. That's what a lot of it was. Of that shit too, you, you know what it actually that. was? Okay, everybody knows about like the new age boomer cat lady that's like into like crystals and shit. And, that's like, a witch. I'll burn. Right. I'll burn them. Yes, that's what they had back then too. And yeah, they're fucking annoying. I don't think they're a threat to society, but nobody likes them. Oh, they're a threat to society. Ah, it's fun to be irritating. I don't they're know a threat to society if you give them power. You can't give them. Yeah, power. if you give them power, sure. But if you got to like laugh at their eccentricities and call them dumb cat ladies and move yeah. on. But that's what they had then too, because this is a, a pre-scientific era. So you had people like that running around. And Dude, the fact that the arch- surprise, they weren't very popular in their communities. People fucking hated them. The fact that the archetype of the cat lady is that of like a, a witch, like an elderly spinster with a bunch of cats. <laughs> this is a witch. Like this is a human archetype. This is something, and this is what we see like with Code Pink. Like these are witches. I mean, if you want to start calling me a witch hunter now, I'm not. I'm not for like killing these people or burning them at the stake. At least not most of them. But like, um, you know, we have to understand that they're witches and just ignore them because these are bad people. They're shitty people. They're annoying and they hate. Once you're, I mean, the funny thing is, like, men. It's possible for a man once he gets old, even if he hasn't had children, to contribute to society if he's if he's smart, if he if he has if he has wisdom. You know what I mean? Um, Women, if you're old and you've never had kids, like, there's what's the point of your existence? (laughs) Man, I don't want to be an asshole, but it's true. No, a lot of these women were people who uh, their kids were grown and gone, and they just turn into gossips. And because they were, they spent so much time poisoning people against each other, they would represent it as witchcraft. Yes. Go, all these people were getting along just fine until this woman started running her mouth. Yep. Jay is 100% had, right. You also had those uh, devices. Right. Uh, maybe one of you guys know. Maybe someone can drop it in the chat. It was like a helmet that then had a lock that went around her neck and a piece that went into her mouth so that she just couldn't fucking talk. It was like putting. Puritans are my new best friends. 
Yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah so I'm actually really liking Puritans more and more. I'm like, wait, so what was the problem with these people again? Like, yeah, yeah, I'm finding some small belts. Real right, soon. Man. The biggest problem that these people had was they were causing division and they were gossips and they were especially known for just like being bitches that used foul language all the time and pissed people off. And that's all right. how they, yeah, that's how they got but reported. The, dude, I love the idea of putting that fucking dude. We've got to bring that back. Just that's gotta the fuck be up hat. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, for real. These are like literal Satanists. It's just that nobody liked them, and they wanted to find an excuse to get rid of them. And wow, weird. We have this uh, this movement where these people get burned at the stake. Yeah, for yeah, real. I'm all know. about putting that like device on these fucking <laughs> gods. I mean, imagine you could put that on every fucking fucking liberal cat lady. It, it also it reminds me. I of, would. You remember the prescription lists that Sola did? Yes. So it's like the same phenomena of it starts off as being like very overtly political, like these are enemies of the state. And then within a couple of days, suddenly you've got names on that list that they're just unpopular or they have money or something like they have well, nothing. A lot of times people would be that. rushing to get the guy that they have a monetary dispute with yes. in that list. And then it's like, yeah, and yeah. that's, that's well, kind of how the witch finding went the too. The device. Hey, can you guys hear me by any chance? Oh yeah, yeah, there he is. All right, figured it out. Merry Christmas, fellas. Merry Merry Christmas. Christmas. Thanks for having me on. I don't know who you are. Never talked to you. (laughs) No idea. (laughs) Oh wow. Okay. 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 You don't exist. No. There was a great uh, suggestion in the in the comments. Going forward, that's the new uniform. It's the white polo with the khakis. And the Puritan hat with the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I, I'm telling you, the more we talked about Puritans, the more I'm like, I'm liking these guys. <laughs> like the thought patrolling was off the charts.